Hi, I'm Congent. This is what I do. I'm a sculptor. I work mainly in wood. I sometimes do bronzes, but wood is my favourite thing. I, I, I really love wood. I love trees and I love every aspect of wood. It's just one of the extra things that I, that I love about wood is that I like the smell of it. When you're working with stone, the dust is sort of pervasive, gets into your pores and it's not that, well, I wouldn't find it pleasant, but I, I was saying the cedar wood has, a, has an amazing perfume, beautiful. Oak has a different smell, not, so, not always really pleasant, but very distinctive. And it's sort of part of the character. It gives character to the, to the inanimate object that you're working with. And it, that character sort of helps to give life to it or something. Well, this piece is a piece that uh, is created specifically for this exhibition called Vanishing Art in Carton House. And uh, I had the idea, I said, well, why don't I do something specific, site-specific for the exhibition there? And I came across this very strong, powerful piece of oak and I said to myself, this will do, do fine. It's a tree that probably was growing for about 250 years here on the estate. Uh, what I'm going to do with it wasn't clear to what I was going to do. It wasn't clear to me in the beginning. I had no idea, but uh, I sat with the with the piece, the shape of the piece, and I've decided that to make it into something that represents regeneration. It's about giving life and uh, fertility to something. That the piece of wood is inanimate. It's an object. And it's a fine tree in itself, but it becomes something else. It turns into something and uh, that something is giving life to the tree. And the shape I chose for it is a sort of a, an ovide shape, an egg form shape. And uh, so it's going to be a large egg and inside in the egg is going to be, uh, I hope, uh, a figure of a child. I think sculpture lives in a place. It doesn't sit, in a gallery is one thing and it's fine, sculpture is fine in a gallery, but trees grow outside, they grow these places like the means like uh, Carton and all of the big estates, trees were very important. The people who, who owned these places collected trees from all over the world, brought them back and, uh, and planted these trees, not knowing that, the, I don't know how they could understand they would create things of such beauty in 200 years time, you know, but they did. And it's the essence of these places to have big trees and to have that, that spectacularness about them, that beauty about them. And uh, the tree being put back into use after it's lived its life and died or fought, been, had, had to be cut down or fallen down for some reason, it becomes something else in the estate, in the place, the place that it, it, it lived and grew.